Uh, any more questions? I will take questions. Yeah, the, the, so within tiers, this is not significantly ordered. Can I talk more about Longi? Hell no, bro. What what makes you play the Ram there? I mean, um, similarly to why I think Chip Chip and G are worse. I think Ram's biggest strength is that she could completely deny some characters the opportunity to pl use their game plan. Like, if you if you think about the matchups that Ram has always like. D dominated in it's like um it's like may before she was really good against but now that match might be losing a lot according to a lot of players um she used to destroy sato who's no longer on in the game so like that matchup's gone she used to destroy happy chaos which she still does but he's way worse less relevant she used to destroy jacko but that matchup's not as bad because of defense command she she used to be Kai. She used to be Anji, and now those matches might be losing. It's like a lot of her, a lot of her, of her thing was that she auto wins against all DLC characters, and she auto wins against anyone with a two step game plan. That strength is just less relevant now because every character that is strong right now, except for Asuka, is a one step game plan. Right, Milia spawns on the screen. Yeah, maybe he does 2k2d into mix, but like Milia's strength of having god tier jumping and being so fast that you can't catch her, it's effective in immediately, right? Um, Anji spin is round start massive factor. You can't 5 age Anji to stop him from setting up his spin. He's he's already spinning. Bro is already spinning. Um, same the goal was the round starts. They have already spent 100 burst on, on White Wall Assault. You're already around down. Melee, I mean, May, same thing. Nago, you know, like a lot of these characters just don't have any type of like startup to their game plan. And so Ram being able to control these, control and, you know, basically play early, like fast tempo just doesn't matter as much. She's still an incredible character. Bullshit hurt boxes. Why the hell does her far slash and five age both anti air and sweep the floor? I don't know. I guess they didn't want the ram players to have to think, but like, but I I think she's always been a massive issue. I think she's one of the easiest characters in the game, but she's not the main villain right now. But yeah, Ram could definitely be better. If Zondo was on Ram, then maybe we would all think she's the best. It's hard to say. It's it is guesswork to some degree. Did the buffs not significantly help Testament? It did. I actually think Testament could be here. But uh for now I'll still put them here. Um Testament is basically just a victim of like they're also a control character, but their output isn't high enough. Their offense is not that scary. Um, they're a really good knowledge of character, though. Like, you can absolutely lose the Testament, no matter which character you're on. Other than Golos, who's the biggest villain of this patch? Anji. May. Nago. Are May's four-way mix-ups actually real? Yes. Sadly. She gets it from... Dude, she's like plus... Set, like, there's a frame data mod now, and she May is like plus 70 from like her up dolphin ender. <laughs> That's hard knockdown. And Hop just like... <sighs> the voices. The voices. I close my eyes and I hear Totsugeki. 
And it's fine to have four-way mix-ups, I think, in games where the four-way mix-up doesn't take 70% of your health on a high-health character with God-tier neutral. Like, another way to put, to describe these three characters, Gold Lewis, uh, Nago, and, and Mei, is that they're grapplers with S-tier neutral. That really says a lot. Like, Nago's command grab is, like, dude, if I could choose between f two Sangeev command grabs or one May grab command grab or one um, Nago command grab, I would easily take the Sangeev ones every day of the week, right? Like, the command grab of a lot of these characters... A lot of the grapplers in in modern fighting games like Lily, Manon, Zanky, they don't give good Oki. Not only does Nago keep Oki, but he becomes God himself for like 15 seconds. Cross up low is technically reactable? No. And I will not say why. I will not say why, because I don't have to. And if you don't believe me, good. Don't look for it. What are my thoughts on Pot's plays? The only reason why he's not above Happy Chaos is so that Pot mains don't have a personality split and go full Joker mode on us. Like, pot mains are, like, the most victim complex. Like, they literally, like, paint themselves as victims because they chose to pick a character that they knew was not top tier. Golden Lewis mains are absolutely cut from the same cloth, yes. A lot of people that play grapplers um, are people that want a bad character because if they play a bad character and then they lose, it wasn't on me, man. Pod doesn't have basic tools. But if they win, oh my god, did you see that I neutral skipped with Mega Fist once? And then I did heavenly ones oh my god am i jesus christ himself that's what they want right a lot of them want that the problem is that they're these characters are just so good now that they're no longer impressive and so i've seen the mental of pot mains and golos mains go down the drain because now they're expected to win and they enjoy the character less because they're better this is this is a really common thing with a lot of low tier mains. I should make like a talk on this, but it's like the low tier effect where like the best players on a lot of the characters that are considered low tiers uh, isn't actually the people that main them, especially not a lot of the people that main them because they're low tier. If picking a character and you pick them because they're low tier or that's a significant factor, then most likely you're not a top tier competitor. These exceptions do exist. Snake Eyes is a great example, right? Um, they do exist, but a lot of the time they're not the norm, right? And so what happens is that, you know, I'm, I'm going to put sim players on blast now because they deserve it and I want to. Yeah, I don't have an excuse. But like sin player, the people that like raise the sin flag, I'm a sin man, let's go. I love sin. Yeah, yeah, I've loved him since Exert. These people are in the fucking no one knows about them. The best people on sin is a top play for five minutes after they learned what the character's move list was. The best sin players are not the diehards that fucking sat and cried that he was bottom one. They are dog shit compared to any decent player that knows how to do to use Tyrant Barrel.
Like, come on. Be- like, you're not that you're not good because you oh you get you get like middle of the road results on a character considered bad. You're good when you win shit. And the best character, the be- the people winning shit are not people are often not the people that have stuck with a low tier forever and then they get finally buffed and they finally start winning shit. Golu and Smates are still not winning things. This version of Golu was he runs the wild, wild assaults you and he TODs you on block and they do don't win. That's crazy. That's crazy. Golos ain't that ugly, pick him up. Oh, I forgot. So the third thing Arxis developers said was a main issue was deflect shield input. You get it by accident. It was Sodo being horrible. And the third one was white wall assault. And they said that and my face lit up like a fucking Christmas. It was like it was a Christmas miracle. They know. Oh, thank God. They know. They know. They know. Oh, bless the Lord. They know. They know it's. They know why Wallace was horribly designed. Thank you. Salvation is coming. Goldo's pissing and gonna act like the victims again. Please, man. Anything but having to fight Goldo's main on a top tier. No, they no Google Smith don't all do. They do downplay him still frequently without facts on the daily, but they don't doom. They're just lying so that their character doesn't get nerfed. Very big difference. The saddest thing Golos mains one. They had. They were right. They they had people just complete spout complete bullshit about the character like bedless. Uh, red, I am not. Fucking what's it? What's his name? Backpack. They just completely Sid Victor. They just completely lie about the game and they massively downplay them, them on Twitter. And this poor Japanese guy sitting in Japan, reading this through Google Translate, thought he was spitting. They thought, yeah, you're right. We should make his up him with more plus. Why, man? <laughs> Get some better translators. Downplaying works for everyone except Sato. So I was actually okay with the Sodonosh when they first happened because I thought it was poetic justice that they downplayed Sodo that much. And then they got complete then they actually found out what how bad he is. Like there's a tweet of Latif saying, like, I hope they nerf Sodo so they so that we sh- we can show it do- didn't matter. And then they just nuked him harder than almost any top tier has ever been nuked. And then it, yeah, it did matter actually. <laughs> It is, I'm sorry, it mattered. I'm glad to hear your opinion of any place that's playing in Japan. I will talk more about the opinion um, of Japanese players. I will say, in general, the tier lists have never really been closer now than they ever have. Like me, we talked to a lot of the Japanese players to the developers and all that stuff. Like, I think the consensus tier list is closer now between the West and the East than it's ever been before. I think ABBA is low. It's a sleeper. Yeah. 
But she she's bad with uh, solo main. But so is Axel. I think both these characters are like really good if you if you know how to play play secondary. Yeah, I I don't know. I think overall I have a lot of faith in the stride developers, but the last patch it's been rough. I think taking this long to fix some of the core issues of wild assault has definitely been a downer for me. Like I think the biggest issue was just that why did they patch the game three months before the finals? And so the f arc of the finals was played on a version that no one qualified on except Yumi show. Like I think that's kind of whack, right? No other big developer does that. We're like, Oh yeah, for Capcom Cup. Now that you're all qualified, let's just randomly patch it and let's just nuke these two characters. All right. Peace. I think that's really whack. And I do think it's telling that like the people that qualified through winners in our Crevo were all people that had that had their characters untouched or buffed by the patch. It at the highest level, these margins are tiny. But they uh, they matter a shit ton, right? And when it's three months before, you, like if you play a high tier or a, even a mid tier, it's really hard to make the call, right? Like like that was what I was doing. I regret playing chaos. I should have just played soul or someone a top tier. But when you only have three months and then you have real life shit happening in between, it's really hard to make that call, right? To be like, all right, let me just pick a new top tier because the other people have three years on their characters. Like, like I think it's really dumb that some characters just get to stay top tier forever. Like, Nago, Mei, Ram, Leo, Soul. And some characters just, nah, nah, man. I didn't like the way you looked at me. Peace. Like, it just becomes a massive game of chance. And obviously, I'm whining extra because I played... The three characters that got nerfed the most out of all the top tiers, Chip, Happy Chaos, and, and Sado, and the character I put the most time in fourth is Asuka, who is probably the fourth most nerfed top tier. It sucks, right? And I'm going to whine about extra because I'm personally affected. That said, it's obviously still on me to, uh, to be ready for the bad luck when it happens, but... Yeah, man, it sucks. I I think even if if this happened, if I was up against Latif in the finals, and or Jonathan, and three months before their character just gets shot, and I win against someone whose character just gets nerfed, even if I win, that doesn't feel great, right? I'm not gonna feel great if I beat someone because they're, the character they put three years into dies three months before the the. Finals is. So yeah. Um, again, I, I would completely understand if these were like smaller changes. Like if they did like one tiny change to Chaos, for example, that happened to be a really big deal. Sure, they didn't know how big effect of it. I give you the pass, right? If they accidentally nerfed Sado a little bit too much, maybe we're not furious, we're not living, we're not t still talking about it. But like the whole problem is, is that they weren't, they weren't. These are not unexpected things, right? It's like you change Sado's eddy timer by like you make it a twice the time. You also nerf his flight. Yeah, he's going to be fucking nuked. What the hell were you expecting? These aren't like tiny, oh, we couldn't have seen this coming. These are like all of Havoc Chaos's resources take 30% more like resources. Okay. Like you nerf Chip Rekka, what, that is the, the, the best Rekka, so it no longer has counter hit properties. Yeah, that's going to be a massive deal, right?
you make Chip, who's good at jumping, no longer one of the best at jumping, it's going to be a really big deal. You can't really be surprised when that changes, right? Yeah. I, I also think that too, Tempest, that it feels like they look too much at Japan. And I wish they talked more with uh, Western players on their opinions. Because although they have nerfed some characters uh, on Western metas, there are many characters that are, have been seen as incredibly broken for incredibly long in the West. And the West is very clearly just as, if not better than, Asia at the game, right? And yet, it feels like they don't really care or listen to what we say, but they care a lot about what is considered strong in Japan. And I think that's, I think that's an issue. Even if it wasn't true... The fact that we think it's true and we feel like they don't communicate with us and they seem to nerf all of them, like we listen to all of their complaints, I think that's a cause for concern for Arxis, even if it's not necessarily why they balance it. But I also think that when you all of, like the majority of all your testers are in Japan or in Korea and they all work there, how are they not going to be biased, right? Because these players, um, right, they, they work on, on the balance team. They will, they will go offline or like even when they're not at work, right, they're going to be playing with players that are in Japan or in Asia. If you play with me and we talk about the game a lot, if you're my friend, we're going to start having more similar opinions because I can argue for what I think May is broken. Why I think this is broken, right? And the same thing goes for people in Japan. The region naturally like makes you think similarly because the best players usually play these characters and they show off the strength of these characters, etc. So if you only have Japanese and Korean testers, they will naturally be biased towards Asian the Asian meta and essentially have this create this effect which we all kind of agree on that they just care more about what's doing well in asia than doing well in the west like leo getting continuous buffs despite doing well continuously in the west ram may nago like it's always like why what why Yeah, it's kind of weird. The server performance is also a big example, yeah. Like, the network issues are just way less in Japan. Yeah. So, so this is one of the issues I think is that it feels like they don't have specialists for a lot of these characters, right? And since they're not willing to ask players, like the top players, it feels like a lot of the changes they do are kind of like on a surface level. Like they're people that don't play these characters a lot. Why would you buff Leo's far slash without nerfing his guard point? Because now he has two guard point moves that you kind of have to react a little bit differently. And guard point was already broken. And then you also buff his fireball, which was already broken, like especially S. Like make age a little better, sure. But like what you're making S fireball better? That you already had to move mountains for to make to like fight with a lot of characters. Um, and like, let's not even talk about this patch chaos. If they asked me last patch, do you think this reload change is good? I would say, don't do this. This is going to make him a sonar like on release. It wasn't that bad, obviously, but like I could have told them 
do you want the zoning to be that much better? Because you've nerfed zoning a bunch of times. Why would you want to make it that much better again, right? It was a very obvious mistake change, in my opinion, right? Where, like, sometimes they do changes where, like, they just don't play the characters well enough so they don't get the pro the issue. I also think that must have been what happened with Sato. They can't have a god tier Sato player on... Okay, there's two There's two, two realities. Either one, they do not have anyone that actually understands Sato well enough on their testers. Or two, they have Jesus himself on, on the sticks washing everyone with Sato, but everyone else thinks he's a scrub. He should actually lose to everyone. And so that's why they nerfed Sato that hard. And then he's still smoking him. That's why he's still not buffed. I think Dolphin Hop is actually a pretty good change. That's not at all what I have the issue with May on. I think the damage and the um, conversion of Dolphin is broken. Yes, May, May in Season 3 is actually a significantly better design character than in Season 2, but she's still a bad design character. And she honestly, honest to God is not a great candidate for top tier. I'll have her be top tier though, if she's top tier, like if dolphin counter hit is like less of a, less of a factor, like not as big of a part of it. Them asking high level players to test stuff, it would help. I don't think they need to test stuff. I do think that helps, but like, I think even just talking to people, giving them feedback, what do you think about this change? I absolutely understand that they don't want people to be biased they don't want people to go like like they don't want to ask a sodomy what they think about ram right like but i do think that you can still ask questions you can still talk to people i think more info is better than little info because you're still you're you're still reading it and they said that they do read twitter they do watch youtube videos they do watch matches right and if you don't talk to people and ask them like Hey, what do you think about this? And you just read Twitter. Reading Twitter is basically like reading people's like, like people with like the opposite of post nut clarity, like post loss salt. If you read Twitter for your for for your opinions, like you will have the worst takes possible, right? But if you ask someone, even someone who's salty, if a developer asks you. What do you think about this? What do you think should be changed? You can actually get really, really good advice, really good info. You might not use all of it, but you can have an actual understanding of where their head is at, what they think, what they could suggest. Maybe you take one of the changes. Maybe the info you used just gives you more info on like, oh, we think this character's strong. Maybe we don't need to change them. Maybe we don't. Maybe this massive buff that we thought about, maybe we can tune it down a little bit. I think more info, even if it's potentially biased, is good because there is no unbiased info anyway. Even if you take a person who is outside of the tournament scene but is playing Guilty Gear, they will still have some bias. Even if they're paid to be unbiased, they will still be like, I'm naturally a little bit better with May. So I think... May should be good, or they're a little bit worse with <coughs> Leo because they don't they're not good at charge. And so they won't realize how good Leo is, right? If I picked every character, even as a fighting game pro, who's been doing this for many, many years, I'm still gonna be naturally biased towards some characters. I'm gonna be naturally better at some characters and naturally worse at some others. Right? And so the problem is that it, when you're not talking with people because you think what if this top player is biased towards its own character? We don't want to get in the situation of like them doing it. I think at the end of the day, 
you're still listening to the bias. You just listen to the drip feed bias. You're getting it through Twitter. You're getting it through like, I say something. I say Andre broken. And then random person in the chat says Andre broken. And then that person says it to their tester. And then the tester gets it, right? And then like, you don't get the accurate information of like, it's not a problem in Andre's top tier. It's a problem how he's a top tier, right? What do you put bike in this low? Uh, I already talked about it er earlier, but basically the biggest problem is that bike in doesn't do well against all the, a lot of the high health, high damage characters because she's naturally gambly herself. Uh, gambling is not an issue when you're fighting like Milia or you're fighting Axel and, you know, low health characters. But when you gamble against Nago, that's an issue. All right. When you gamble against soul and and leo like now the fact that your offense has gaps that they could counter at you in is a massive issue <coughs> yeah all right i've been streaming for seven hours i streamed like three hours earlier two hours we're gonna all version of chip which is the best of merge version of him if you're talking stride i did not play previous but the worst version of chip is arguably now if you count in terms of uh number because he's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen like he could be top 14 which sounds slow but he's still effectively uh high tier or top tier right um and uh, I actually think the worst version of Chip is when I dropped him. People kept saying he was buffed then, but now almost everyone agrees that he was mid-tier or like fringe high-tier then, which was uh, the Leffen nerf when they nerfed uh, me after I won uh, online Evo and Levo and shit, where they took out K-Alpha <coughs> and all of that shit. I got someone spoke up about Anji. Hey, that. All right, I come here. Yeah, I think that was the worst chip patch because chip was technically like 10th or 9th that patch probably, but he was just way weaker than the top tiers. Top tier, Tesla will always top tier. All right. This was pretty cool, yeah. I think they're a lot cooler in in plus R, even though they're more of a war crime. I want them to be merged so that they're like some of the some of the interesting stuff. Like you can plant a tree, bro. And like, but not as toxic. Nerve and JJK made sense, but at this point they could easily buff JJK again without an issue. They also double nerf J2K. They made a war zone block and then also the hitbox. <coughs> Favorite patch so far? I don't really care about that shit. I think there's pros and cons of every patch. I can't in an unbiased way say that I... Like, say, oh, I like previous patch or like 2.5 better when my character was top tier. Like, of course, of course I'm not going to like this patch when this patch fucking nuked all of my characters. What makes you think put Soul in S plus if you think he loses a main dog goes in sin? Uh, I don't think he loses a sin. I think that's even. Three losing matchups is still really fucking good. Um, and I don't think any of the matchups like Nago, Golus, and May are like none of them are guaranteed to be losing either, but I especially think that they're not bad. They're not six fours. They're like five, five, four, fives, maybe. Maybe one of them is six four. And then the other one's even, right? Like maybe maybe Nago is six four, but May is May is five five, but Golos turns out to be even. Like 
There's a lot of things that could be true. But it's not that bad. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go eat. I've been talking for very, very long. My throat is very parched. Um, I will send you guys to Slashback, which is the tournament running right now. <coughs> I wish I had a success story like Sin. Well, Sin doesn't remember where he came from. Remember that the people that came up with Sin, the support of him was low. He dropped those bitches for a new hoe. New new friends. Because the people that pick up Sin recently are better than the people that stuck with him. He, anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I'll do more shit tomorrow. We'll, tomorrow we'll go through... I'll show some of the Japanese tier lists and some of their opinions on that. Um. All right. 